We are back with today's Mostly Interesting and another scientific breakthrough that makes you ask, why? <laughs> okay. A company in Australia that works on cultivated lab-grown meat just unveiled this monster. A meatball grown, apparently, from the DNA of a woolly mammoth. Really? <laughs> Scientists with the startup group called VOW say they used the genetic sequence from the long extinct animal to make this meatball. They took the known genetic information from the mammoth, filled in the missing pieces from its closest living relative, the African elephant, and then inserted that into a sheep cell. Anyway, <sighs> what? now there is a woolly mammoth meatball. No one's eating this, by the way. It's just on display in Australia. Okay. So, I don't know. I just put it under glass and be like, it's a mammoth meatball. Sure it is. Well, it is a big meatball. <laughs> That's a big a meatball. <laughs> Mama make a big a meatball. <laughs> I like the fact that they're exploring making meat. Yes. Instead of <laughs> whatever. We won't get on that <laughs> subject. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. There's got to be something else to be doing. I agree. I agree. But again, there are efforts elsewhere. Look at me. What do I know? What I'm do I know? I'm making mammoth meatballs in Australia, but instead I'm here. I do know this. I would very much like this next thing that we're going to be doing. Oh, yes, about. me too. I took a sneak peek. I, I saw this too, and I was like, I really like this. Hello. A very rare diamond is about to go up for auction, at, and experts are predicting it is going to go for a massive price, the mammoth price, if you will. It's described as the most vivid pink diamond ever to come to market. Let's just look at it for a second. <laughs> Easter oh. ride. It is nicknamed the Eternal Pink. <laughs> Sotheby's in New York is putting the 10.6 carat diamond up for auction on June 8th. The fine arts company call it the most intensely saturated color that they have ever seen that I have ever seen. It took six months to cut from a rough diamond in Botswana in 2019. The expected auction price is at least $35 million. Well, that's all? Hey, what about Benefer? Didn't he buy? <laughs> well, that's what I know. That's what it reminded, that was the thing. That's what it reminded me of. One of the things I like the most about that video is the man in the velvet pink jacket who just, his job is to stand there while the ring is draped over oh, his shoulder. I'd like to just model it. Yeah, just for a second. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's one of those things that I feel like it would look like people would see it and be like, there's no way that's a real thing. That's okay. So you'd spend $35 million and people would be like, where'd you get that? Walmart. Partials. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> it's fine. I'd still wear it.